Well, they're making big moves to raise awareness for mental health and they need our help. Tina Rose, CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters and Big Brother John Hammerstrand joining us this morning to tell us more about this. Good morning to you both. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So Tina, tell us about the uh, big moves for mental health campaign, what it's all about, because we know uh, May is Mental Health Awareness Month and we're just a day away now. We are. Um, well, we're making big moves at Big Brothers Big Sisters. And really after this season of prolonged stress and isolation, we want to promote and prioritize mental health. And this campaign is really gonna help us raise awareness and much needed funding for Big Brothers Big Sisters to help our youth who you know, really have struggled during this time, um, not having the connections that they were used to having. Uh, but what we have seen is that our big brothers and big sisters have made a huge difference for them during this time. And we wanna provide that for more littles. So we're looking for the whole community to join us in this event, it's going to be a whole month of virtual wellness events, everything from bar three classes this weekend, those are going to be in person at Moray Field, to yoga, boot camp, healthy cooking, meditation, you name it. We want you to get involved and it's uh, going to be a great, great time. Can you tell us a little bit about this kickoff event that's going to be happening uh, tomorrow and Sunday? Yeah, so bar three uh, is volunteering their time to hold a class outdoors, socially distanced, um, if you wanna be there out, you know, in person. And then they're gonna have some virtual events later this month if, if that's what you prefer. But they will have an event on Saturday and on Sunday. And anyone can participate. Um, you just become a monthly giver to Big Brothers Big Sisters for just $10 a month to support the mission, or you can fundraise or donate $60 in honor of our 60th anniversary this year. Tina, we're having nice weather for that. So uh, good yeah. timing on all of this. So I wanna bring in John here to discuss uh, how your little brother has been doing during COVID here and how you've been stepping in to help. Uh, as Tina mentioned, this is so important for these kids. Tell us a little bit about your situation and your little. Yeah, one of the great things about being a big is being able to connect with somebody, you know, and, and reach out and really be a mentor in their life. Uh, my little David is, obviously had a lot of changes with COVID. You know, he's a football player in high school, uh, looking forward to, to doing that last year. That all got uh, moved around and switched oh. out. So one of the things that we've really tried to do is uh, just to make sure that we, you know, we're connecting, stay in touch. We've done like virtual dinners together, virtual workouts, um, calls, text, all the same ways, just be an additional support for him. And, uh, you know, let him know there's people out there that care in his life. And that and also he's got the ability, you know, to make changes in his life to make his day better and do things to like continue working out and uh, eating healthy while he's getting ready for that next football season next year. Yeah, so we're not obviously identifying him, uh, but I, I think it's important to um, discuss what what has he opened up to you about how this past year has been? Because I know, um, you know, big brothers can really have that way of connecting with these kids. And, and, and what has he kind of opened up to you about? What has he been saying? Yeah, one of the things you really notice are how um, I think isolating being out of school and having virtual school is the lack of the, the school programs going on. And so that's a lot of what I'm hearing and how basically they want to get back to as we all do life is normal. And and I know this has a big impact on your little but having my sister was it was was really involved in this program. And I remember her always telling me um, how much of an impact that it had on her. And I think she even felt like it actually had a bigger impact as a big, right? I mean, uh, talk, sure. talk oh, about absolutely. the feeling on that. Yeah, you know, that's the one thing I always like to tell people about the organization is, is the organization that you give to, they end up getting back more from. Uh, there is no doubt that just the joy and excitement you see in somebody's face when you introduce them to something new or share, you know, unique experience, be it ice skating, going to the Padres or, uh, I, what else, hiking, all these different events that uh, a lot of these children have never been, never been able to be a part of. Just being there for one of the first times they've done, it's really an exceptional experience. And uh, it's just nice to be there for somebody and, you know, be the role model that you wanted at that age. Yeah, John, you're a great big, that's for sure. Uh, Tina, let's talk a little bit about uh, in Mental Health Awareness Month here. Um, it's, been a, it's been a tough year and it's so important that people have these resources, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we've, we've just seen an increased need from our parents and guardians saying they need extra support for their kids, um, that it's, you know, having some long-term effects and it's 
uh, some of many of our kids come in with trauma anyways. And so the long-term isolation has exacerbated that. So what we're trying to do is bring someone into their life that can be that extra support system. And it's made a big difference and it continues to make a difference. Um, we have 360 kids waiting for mentors. So we wanna provide mentors for more youth who need us. And if people wanna get involved, they simply just have to go to our website and they can get more information, it's sdbigs.org. And that's the same place they can go. I was just gonna ask you about that if they wanna step in and help. That's the same place they can go to uh, yeah. get involved in these wellness activities uh, that are coming up here this weekend too. They can, yeah, they'll just hashtag, they'll just do a, a what do you call this guy? <laughs> One of those the and a big move. Yeah. <laughs> sdbigs.org backslash big move. Backslash, thank you. Right, big move, exactly. All right, Tina. Um, and they can follow us on Instagram at, at, at sdbigs for more information. Perfect. Tina and John, thanks so much for joining us. You guys do such great work making a big impact on our kids' lives. So thanks for that. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for coming on.